Tommy Cox Dairy Beef 500 Advisor. An important factor to keeping dairy beef animals healthy is keeping them free from parasites. Parasites can have a significant impact on Thrive, therefore it is important that stock are free from burdens to prevent any impact on performance. Stomach and gut worms can be an issue in dairy calf to beef systems and especially in younger calves. Regular dung sampling is a good way of checking to see if there is an issue on farm and if counts come back in excess of 200 eggs per gram, dosing is recommended. When choosing a product, it's good practice to rotate between the different classes to ensure that no potential buildup of resistance occurs on farm. So a follow-up dung sample a few weeks after treatment is good practice to ensure the product used given effective treatment. In the case of a lungworm monitoring for clinical signs such as a husky cough or difficult breathing is the best way to identify if there is an issue. Heavy infestations can lead to respiratory diseases, therefore issues should be addressed immediately. As regards treatment and control, most available anti on the market will give effective treatment against both larva and adult stages. Levamazole and white drenches will take out the parasite on the day of treatment but give no residual effectiveness whereas macrocyclic lactones or clear drenches will provide a residual for a couple of weeks post-treatment. So before using any parasite control product, it is important to read the labels and instructions carefully to ensure what you know what the product can and cannot treat. Particular attention should be paid to dose to weight calculations so animals receive a correct volume of dose. It is important that whatever dosing equipment is being used is correctly calibrated to prevent over or under dosing from occurring. I'm Gareth Peoples, uh, Dairy B500 participant based in Donegal. Generally from the end of May, I would start taking faecal egg samples to monitor stomach worm levels. The results of these samples determine when I would dose. With regards to lungworms, the first signs of coughing, I would administer a dose. I would usually alternate between the different classes of drugs used to try and to prevent resistance buildup. When dosing, I always assess the weights of the animal and dose accordingly. 